Oh, yeah. What's up, Road Dog, P1, production expert, and or sweet supernatural freak. I am Roy Golden Dorado myself, coming straight at you from around the side. Previously recorded now on YouTube Live. Go Google, like me. Hey. Listen. Tonight I've got an audio treat so sweet your cochleas will swallow it all. Because on this episode of A Bedroom Boy's Best, we are going to get to the highlight of my debut album, Omniville, released May 15th, 2016. I call it Omniville, the 515 version, as in 515. Mm Mm-hmm. As an homage to the 515 studio in Nashville, Tennessee, where for one six-hour session on August 28, 2015, I finally had a band. Mm-hmm. 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 And we cut 11 songs during that session. But when I tracked and mixed and mastered the album last year I had virtually no experience in music production after one year though of using free 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 online resources such as Pro Tools Expert Pro-Tools-Expert.com Pensado's Place TV Groove 3 dot com Mix with the Masters Full sale, universal audio and waves, ozone, plus hours and hours and hours and hours and hours upon hours upon days upon weeks upon months. I've spent months listening to well-regarded mixes such as Metallica's Black Album. Mm hmm. Such as my favorite Bon Jovi album. These Days. Such as 1982 Grammy Album of the Year, Toto 4. Such as Michael McDonald. I said all of it. <laughs> Doobie Brothers and Michael McDonald. Amazing mixes. Classics. Oh. And my reference track for modern music production. High Hopes by Bruce Springsteen. Mixed by Chris Lord Andrew. Mm -hmm. CLA himself. I print the EQ of that in ozone as the uh, match eq so i print his eq starting at the first chorus all the way through the uh, the solo into the second verse maybe even through the first chorus to through to this uh second chorus that's my eq print and then i will match up as best i can the overall EQ of the track with my mixes because I love that one so much. I just think it is perfectly balanced for modern production, both for mastering on CD and mastering in the digital realm. Sounds great everywhere. And the track still breathes and has tons of dynamics and there's lots of things going on, but everything is perfectly clear. It's my reference track of choice. Although, Ain't No Mountain High Enough by Michael McDonald, that was done in early 2000s. The version I'm listening to. And that is going to be a reference for the type of drum sound that I love. I need that snappy snare. I think they've got an awesome, awesome, awesome drum mix on that. It's an awesome mix, period. And if I'm not mistaken, that's Tom Lord Algy. TLA. 
Mm hmm. They know how to mix over there. Sure do. It's helped me tremendously over the past year to. to just get some seasoning. I'm still a newbie rube, but I'm not as much of a newbie rube. And I really think that given what I've learned over this past year, and as I've continued to develop vocally, as I've continued to develop as a recording engineer and as a mixing engineer and as a mastering engineer and from the production side, music production arrangement, it's been a huge one for me. Environmental treatment, acoustic treatment in the mixing environment and proper setup of equipment. Huge. Can't If a man can't hear, he can't mix. It's not just some karate kid talk. Man can't stand, he can't fight. Well, if a man can't hear, he can't mix. Or woman, or however you may identify. Any mixingologist. But damn it, I got one song right. <laughs> oh. I got one song right, and that song is called Before We Say Goodbye. Here it is from my debut album, Omniville. Ladies and gentlemen, Before We Say Goodbye. She's my everything. She cheers me up, turns my... We both know the game we're playing We've played it so many times How can I keep myself from saying What I feel when I look in your eyes But our time has passed us by and now it's time to say goodbye this hard We can just go our separate ways We don't even have to start We can just wait for another day But I don't think I Before we say goodbye Before we say goodbye We don't have to say, we don't have to say, we don't have to say
from my debut album, Omniville. That was Before We Say Goodbye. Wow, what an amazing performance. Featuring James Ivey on bass, James Ivey on drums, James Ivey on shredding, electric lead guitar panned off-center left, Greg Forsman on rhythm guitar and lead electric guitar panned center right, Jason Roller on fiddle, Smith Curry on steel guitars, and Dane Bryant on piano keys. Organs. Recording engineer Trevor Golden, special musical consultant Chip Hardy. That song works. That's what happens when I sing on time. The, ener the energy of the track comes through. I'm not weighing everybody down. There's some faults in the mix. I understand that. But the song is efficient in its transfer of emotion and the telling of the story that I'm going for. When I listen to music, I visualize a scene. I like to visualize music. It's my favorite form of art. You've heard me say this before now a couple of times if you've been listening. Music is my favorite form of art for the expression of heartfelt emotion. All the songs on the album I wrote. One co-write, Ranch in the City with Mary Sorensen. This is me emotionally naked. This album, these songs. But I like to visualize. I like to visualize a scene in the song. And this song, in particular, if we think of lead vocalist as the narrator, the musicians as the cast, the actors, The mix as the sound stage, as the, as the stage itself. Where are the actors, the blocking assignments? The melody and the tempo are elements of the visual scene, the setting. I used both electric guitar parts to represent what what is the the song saying? What is the song saying? Here, let's do this first. We both know the game we're playing. We've played it so many times. How can I keep myself from saying what I feel when I look in your eyes? But our time has passed us by, and now it's time to say goodbye. We don't have to make this hard. We could just go our separate ways. We don't even have to start. We could just wait for another day. But I don't think I can go on without holding you in my arms. And I don't think I could get by without kissing you goodbye. So come and let me hold you. Before we say goodbye. We don't have to say goodbye tonight. That's it. That's the song. That's the lyric. Short and sweet to the point. Very powerful, though, is it not? It's one last plea to save a relationship. This is very. Uh, this is literal. Literal translation. My translation.
one last plea. We don't have we don't have to. It's obvious this isn't working out, and I know where you want to go with this thing, and I know this is supposed to be our goodbye. But we don't have to. We could we could put it off till tomorrow. Hey, baby, let's just sleep on here tonight. Love that song too. Yeah, let's just sleep on it. Still no worky? You still think you're going to walk away? Okay, well. <laughs> Come on over here and let me give you one last squeeze and one last deep, passionate French kiss. Just for, just for old time's sake. While I still can. Let's make the most of this moment then. If this is our last That's what the song is saying. That's the, the scene. The, the actors, imagine this. Imagine this. There's an actor in a male role, actor in a female role. The Jivey Beast guitar, James Ivey's guitar, shredding lead electric guitar that's panned off center left. About left 24... Somewhere between 24 and 30. That's the actor in a male role. Greg Forsman's guitar part is actor in a female role, which is panned right, I think it's between 30 and 40. So so you hear one in the left, one in the right. These guitar parts are acting out the scene. James's guitar comes in first. It's making the plea. We both know the game we're playing. We've played it so many times. It's having a conversation with the other guitar. But I don't think I can go on without holding you in my arms. I don't think I could get by without kissing you goodbye. We finally hear from Greg Forsman's part, or the actor in a female role part. We, we finally hear a response. We hear a lot of blah, 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 talky, talky, trying to smooth talk his way into this relationship. Out of James Ivey's guitar, then Greg Forsman comes back in with an answer. And then during the so come and let me hold you before we say goodbye. Then the song builds back up. That represents the the increasing intense emotion of this conversation going on between both parties until finally they're both screaming at each other back and forth let's hear the song again and now visualize that visualize a conversation between these guitars as, as it plays out, as it unfolds before your very ears. Use your imagination as I do to see this scene unfold. Here it is before we say goodbye from my debut album, Omniville. know the game we're playing we've played it so many times 
How can I keep myself from saying What I feel when I look in your eyes But our time has passed us by And now it's time to say goodbye Conversation is initiated. We don't have to make this hard. We can just go our separate ways. Don't even have to start We can just wait for another day But I don't think I can go on More pleading Before we say goodbye A response Before we say goodbye We don't have to say We don't have to say We don't have to say No A plea Conversation. We don't have to say goodbye. No. Listen to Greg Forsman. We don't have to say, we don't have to say, we don't have to say goodbye. We don't have to say, we don't have to say, we don't have to say goodbye tonight. My favorite part of the album. That's intense. That is what I'm going for in every song. You hear the difference when I sing on time? Even though I would come in late, I was on I was actually on time that song. The arrangement that I picked, I picked those elements because that's the scene I have in my head. That's the opportunity that I have in being able to write the songs, produce the session, hire the musicians, arrange the music, mix the music, master the music, share with you each step of the way of how this art gets from my heart to your ears.
That's the kind of music I want to hear. I'm making the music I want to hear. It's been the most frustrating thing in the world to me to to know that I'm not doing justice to the music based on my lack of technical skill and based on my inexperience vocally. Who cares if I have the freakiest voice in the world if I can't sing on time? Sure would be nice if somebody was guiding me along the way, harnessing the rawness, polishing it up all real nice and smooth. I've got songs. I've got songs for days. I've got seven albums in me. That's my limit. Eleven songs each, seven albums. This is number one. I love this song. I love this record. I love the performances. When we were in the studio, this is the last song that we did. It's the one I was most specific about as far as the uh, as far as the arrangement goes, letting people know what I wanted up front. And then I already had the electric guitar part from James Ivey, and that was part of the guide tracks. So we couldn't take that off. Greg Forsman. <laughs> this was this was awesome. Yeah. Uh, nicknamed the Flash. He's really fast. He can play fast. At the five one five studio there, there's little isolation booths for each musician. So Greg's got his uh, gear and he's got his little booth. He goes in. He's been sitting down. You know, there's benches in there, chairs. He sits down. He gets his settings done, and when it's time for his solo, he stands up. <laughs> he stands up in the booth. I turned to my director of social media, and I said, oh, this is going to be good. I got to watch him do that live. Never forget it. It was an amazing moment when he's... I got to see that live. What an amazing performance. I was beside myself with exuberant joy. I went to high-five him. I think I ended up hugging him, probably dry-humping his leg. Even he agreed. Here's, here's what he said. That's pretty, some pretty good stuff there with those diddly doos. <laughs> he called them the diddly doos. Diddly diddly do, diddly diddly do, diddly diddly do. There's not much I've got to do from a mixing standpoint to make that work. That is not, uh, that is as played, by the way. The only thing I did to Jivey's is match up the part Jivey was playing. I, I matched those up with the diddly doos so that they were, um, and all that was was I, I just spliced that part of a track and, and just nudged it over slightly. Everything else is as played in time. Real. Greg Forsman's part, that is as he played it. Amazing. And I like my vocal on it. I like my vocal a lot, even though I would start late. No. It was the first song that I tracked, actually. 
for this album. That's the first song. That's the song I started with. There were times throughout the process during this whole uh, this last year, trying to figure out what the next step was. Okay, well now I got an album out. Now what? It just didn't. Mm. Just needed time. I needed time to develop. It's been a struggle. Staying patient, staying positive. But anytime I started to waver, this song would lift my spirits. Because at least I could point to this one and say, I did this one right. This has enough right that if all the rest of the songs had what this has going for it, then I, I've got something. I've got something fantastic here. I've got something that I think people are going to want to hear. I love it. I love music. I love country music. I love this kind of music. I love sincere music. Sincere songwriting music. I love performances. I love musicians, artistic interpretations. To, to be captured forever. Live, amazing live performances captured for playback into perpetuity. I want to bring you a bedroom boy's best after 23 years. I know I can. I know I can. And moreover, I want to share with you each step of this process. Let's talk about what can I do better on this particular mix. The Watodo List. Now, Watodo List. Let's play it back and then I will add some commentary and any fixes that I think need to be made. Here we go. First of all, great opening. And when is the last time you heard a jazzy snare brush technique in a country music song? This this type of technique that James Ivey's using here. Listen to this. You hear brushes from time to time, but that type of technique. One thing I did learn in the corporate world is how to build a great team, how to put a, a great team of people around me, because that's what I need to be successful is great others that are not me. <laughs> and that's the truth. Thank you, James Ivey. Dane Bryant there on the uh, the piano keys. That little da 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 da. That is from that's my guitar translation to piano. For this, I've got a uh, standard tunings capo on one, and it's So the pianos. Da 
We start out that way, and that is the, uh, that's reinforced by the other musicians. And it's bookended at the end of the song to bring it all back together. I kick myself. Well, I don't really kick myself now. The direction that I gave the band during the session for this song is how I'll do it from this point on for every single one of my songs that I go back into the studio and, and manage the session. It's the same way. I've got I've got specific parameters for each musician based on not just a, a melody and a hook for the song, but now I hear arrangements of the song. I hear different parts and I could write out different parts for each musician to play. More symphony orchestra style. And the results that I got with this song encouraged me to be able to do that in the future. To to not only help the help give the musicians some direction, um, but make the overall product tighter. It can be a, it can be this tight every single song. That is my worthy goal. That I'm relentlessly determined to achieve. Road Dog R D A W G. Let's continue. We both know the game we're playing. We've played it so many times. How can I keep myself from saying what I feel? All right. What Toto list? Before we say goodbye, enunciation, enunciation, starting and completing, starting and completing each word as I would in a voiceover session. Not get lazy with it. Does that make sense? Enunciation, enunciation, enunciation. Finishing those syllables to help understand the words. Next. When I look in your eyes But our time has passed us by And now it's time to say goodbye Global change is a re-EQ of the bass and remix of the drums. I've got something that's going to solve the overly huge bass. The, the imbalance in the bass and the drums. It's going to help. Give a little more uh, room ambiance to that fiddle. It sounds a little dry to me in context. Don't even have to start. We can just wait for another day. But I don't think I.
Very pretty steel guitar work there by Smith Curry. I'm happy with the arrangement. Very happy with the arrangement. Let's listen to this one more time. I don't think I'm going to have any other changes, though. Let's listen. Before we say goodbye Before we say goodbye We don't have to say We don't have to say We don't have to say What do you think it needs? I'd like to hear those guitars more clearly, more focused. That's a global change. I like the arrangement. I'm happy, very pleased with the arrangement. The arrangement stays. The Watoto list for before we say goodbye. I've got two things. Enunciation. Enunciation. We both know the game we're playing. Not overdoing it, but better than I did. We've played it so many times. Make sure that I close that S. That S is very soft. It's there. If you've got the highest quality mastering speakers in the world, you can hear it. It's very delicate. It's too delicate. It gets lost. Enunciation. How can I keep myself from saying? So on and so forth. Anything else? What do you think? Nothing comes to mind. I just, I want to hear the song again. <laughs> I want to hear the song again. Actually, I want to get started with the next phase in this A Bedroom Boy's Best series. I want to get started real, real soon. Like this week. I'm. I've got some preparations to do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's going to be a great rest of the week. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for being here with me. It's been an exciting process for me to, to be able to sit here with you these last couple of nights as we get in-depth. I could talk about these mixes, what was going on. I could talk about the songs. I can show you different things that are that are important uh, to me from a music production standpoint. We talked about gear. We've talked about improvements. Yeah, as we do this, let's go one more time now that we're done with all of the songs. The, the Mad Watoto Master List, everybody, for Omniville Unleashed version by Roy Golden, Dorado, myself. Global Changes, these are all songs. Retract, retract vocals using a metronome. Get those timings down, now that I've figured that out. Bring the vocals way out front. Way out front. They're sitting in the mix now, and they're they're not... Really not even cutting through. They're just sitting there. But in my genre, country music, those vocals need to be out front. Make sure something is always in focus. Get this stupid cow to focus. Remember that? Make sure something is always in focus. Rebalance and EQ the drums and the bass. I've got a completely different process, Jason. It's a process. It's a pre-pre-process. It's a pre-process. Pre. That I think is going to... It's going to revolutionize how we mix drums in the industry. It's going to revolutionize everything. Oh, you don't believe me? Well, then allow me to demonstrate this week. Rework the guitar arrangements, especially for fast songs. Reprocessing the, the drums and the bass is going to make a world of difference for the rest of the mix. And reworking the guitar arrangements is just going to make things a lot smoother. doesn't have to be so complex. I like complex. I like complex a lot. And where it's appropriate for the song, that's one thing. But if, if the vocals are going on, I got two guitar parts that sound fairly similar, they probably don't need both of them all the time. Just clean up those guitar arrangements and find alternate take gems. I've gone through each Pro Tools session file that I got from the 515 and I've hunted for takes that we didn't use or that were um, we punched over. And I found a couple of things that I thought work really well that, I, that will be usable as alternate takes to give me a little, a little something extra, a little laying yap here and there. Every song. Bad way to be. Fiddle focus leading into first chorus. Hitting bongs, writing songs, more production on the vocals, chorusy thingy. Like hitting bongs and writing songs and singing in this band. It gets a little dry at that part. You remember that? Add more bass and the solo growl finger noise to really get that bass out. Do 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 Tighten the background vocals. If there's going to be any song on the radio, it's going to be Ranch in the City. Kiss Another Wave I love. On the Omniville 515 version, it is all one take, no vocal copying. It's just not in time. But it's still one take. This time... It's going to be one take. I don't care how many times I got to do it to get it right. I'm going to get one take, start to finish, but in time this time. I can do it. I'm going to do it. 
It's going to be there. It's going to be great. Remix and process the drums for snappier snare and a tighter kit. Yeah, I want that snappy snare. He's got the uh, he James Ivy drummer on that. Is um, wins Dorado's Gold Star of the Year award for drum creative drum interpretation, artistic drum interpretation of a song about sexual intercourse. Everything wrong? Vocal reverb? Come on down. There's way too much reverb on that. EQ the piano in the second verse. Think harder, not smarter, right? Scrooge McDuck. Remember that? It it just the piano felt a little bit soft. Needs needs to be harder, and I've got a solution for that as well. It's called the House of Cush Clarifonic Perfect Piano or some such like that. That's all it takes. It does exactly what I want it to do. With one click. Boop. Done. Doesn't anybody wanna? I'm going to spare y'all to death with an acoustic guitar. It needs it. The song needs it. It needs to flow. It, it's part of how it's written. It's going to rework the intro and add an acoustic guitar for rhythm foundation. That's going to that's going to keep things on the tracks. Use Craig Forsman's guitars for groove emphasis. Now that I if I lay down a rhythm acoustic guitar, then the electric guitars can be used for that dana 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 down, 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 down. Piano EQ again. It was really soft during the solo. I had a hard time getting it to cut through the mix. Hard, hard, hard. Lengthen the intro. One last ride that I will release to radio. It's my first. Re it's the first song that I wrote the lyrics to, and it's the first song that I am going to release to radio. Creative use of masking to enhance energy of the track. Piano and rhythm guitar. Sitting just below the surface of the mix, but providing some energetic glue that if you solo those parts out, even though you can't really make them out in the mix, bring them out or mute mute those. When you, when you mute it, it feels like you're missing something. Does that make sense? Diction during the chorus. Harp on that. Make sure them words are coming out all nice. Oh, nice. Reimagine the last... <laughs> oh, forgot about that. Reimagine the last note. One last round. One last round. Something like that. My everything. <laughs> Clean up junk. <laughs> Obviously. I gotta clean up my junk and my everything. Uh, happy with the arrangement. Pretty happy with the vocals too. Needs to be a little bit more on time, but um, that one shouldn't be that much. Clean up junk was in uh, the intro of the song. It seems like I I don't have a mic muted somewhere. Could just be me imagining something, but double check those things. Obviously. Only temporary. Cleaned up the lyrics. It's only temporary. I've got to get her out of my head. Forget the things my baby probably might have said. If I can blur the pain until it don't seem real, I'll survive another night in a temporary mind of steel. Remember that? More roomy on band mix. I want that livey vibey feel for this song. And try panning electric guitar to different soundstage space for fills. To give it a little more differentiation, keep our ears from getting bored. Illuminate the fiddle outro. Is There's a really cool outro that Jason Roller plays on that. It's just being covered up in the mix. It's not shining through. It happens every time. Reduce snare and vocal verb. Shine on me, on or on. Stay consistent. No matter how I say it the first time, say it the same way every time. Doesn't matter. Just pick one and be, be the same. Use vocal variation during delivery. Making sure that when expressing emotion with vocals, 
We don't necessarily have to make crazy face. There's different ways that I can I can use my voice to interpret that line and make it expressive and interesting. Vocal variation, particularly in the first verse. Needs a little something more there, more energy to start out with. Guitar solo change. Jivey Beast or Greg Forsman's parts, pick one. Now that we've heard before we say goodbye, it works so well. Th- it works so well that I thought I would maybe. I thought I would, not maybe. I I thought that I could get it to work okay on this too. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. Guitar solo panning effects in the spotlight. Anytime that we've got that guitar solo, the the first Greg Forsman solo, it was panned to the right and it was just kind of off in space somewhere. It needs whichever one I pick. The solo that I pick, it it needs to be in the spotlight. Wherever I go. First verse, make room and mix by eliminating one guitar. And phrasing, phrasing. Where I emphasize the, the delivery of the line on which notes. It's more than just being on time. It's how I phrase the verses how I phrase the chorus. You're with me wherever I go. You're with me wherever I go. You're with me wherever I go so I don't feel alone. Instead of, you're with me wherever I go so I don't feel alone. Such a such a sweet song. Uh, miss miss the phrasing on that. It's gonna help. Vocal down on the guitar solo here with me, and then. <laughs> Well, in the original mix, my vocal stays in focus, and it should just be sliding on down as if I'm flying away. You know what I mean? Before we say goodbye, enunciation. A uh, little more fiddle ambience, 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 ambience. During the, what is this? Is it really the second verse? Yeah, second verse. Da, 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 da. We can just go our separate ways. Na, da, 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 da. That part. Save our work. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'll print it out. I'll print it out. And I'm going to tape it to my desk. And I'm going to mark through each and everything. If it's not written down, it never happened. Like Charlotte Jones Anderson always says. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sweet Charlotte Bridges. Amazing folks out there with the Dallas Cowboys football team. Oh, wow, this is multiple pages. I like it. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. It's real big for me to see. There it is. Got it right here. My Watoto master list, yo. Ah, uh, what else do we have? I think that's it. This is going to get interesting. 
really, really fast. Can't wait. I am Roy Golden, the Rotto myself. Hopefully you've been entertained, inspired, and encouraged to make the music you want to hear, be the change you need to see, and live the life you dare to dream. Why make believe when you can make be live? Like me. Later, Road Dog.